Yo, Vicery here. Today we take a look at a different way to play Switch X. X mode only. The builds are pretty simple. We are mostly using Kiao weapons for fire, water, thunder, and ice, and a Latron for dragon. 4 piece Vitalis with the Arch Tempered Vulcana Lex is the best we can go for. For dragon, we use Vulcana Gamma Helmet instead of Vitalis to activate critical element. Since we don't use sword mode, we don't need focus, nor power pull longer, and can purely go for damage. Element is a good idea, since most attacks scale pretty well in X mode, but raw with the Fatalis weapon is also an option. For skills, we aim to get as much damage as possible, which means agitator, attack boost, elemental attack if needed, and 100% affinity thanks to critical eye and weakness exploit. Critical boost increases our damage even more. Evade window is a nice utility skill, but you can slot in whatever is comfortable for you. Augments are mainly one health and element or attack. For Fatalis, you want to have one affinity augment. The playstyle is very simple. We utilize X mode and ignore sword mode. The attack we will use most often will be wild swing. Not only do you get an attack increase after the third swing, but if you do a heavy slam after said third swing, you gain a buff called Power X. While Power X is active, all X attacks have an increased part back modifier. That means you can get flinches and claggers more frequently. The value depends on the attack you perform. With that said, let's see how it performs. Okay, our first monster we do is a Raphalos. I'm quite curious to see if I can get some good dunks out of him. I'm not sure if I want to get the, uh, the waterfall trap here, but we might just go for it. And then when he's down on the ground at the bottom, we can maybe do some good axe swinging at him. And he's positioning himself in the perfect way. So, perfect. And we're gonna go all the way down. Oh, I didn't get the, the bug right there, but that's okay. Uh, don't wanna climb. I don't wanna climb. Thank you. There we go. Now we're gonna do some wild swinging here. There we go. I'm gonna hit everything else but the head. That's a little bit sad. At least we did, did get the head break. Come on. Ah, oh, I thought one more hit. I thought we can get one more hit. Well, he's still not enraged, so we could do a... Another wall bang on him. Get him down, get the tenderize off. That might be a good idea. What are you doing? Why are you standing on this mushroom? There we go. On the wall he goes. Now there is a paratoad somewhere around here. Which could either help us or really be our enemy. One, two, three, and boom. That's a Clagger. You know what? I'm gonna take that, jump off, reset the timer, and then we're just gonna do one, two, three. Okay, Refian is coming. I'm gonna switch to Impact Mantle and maybe get that KO. That would be quite nice. Okay. That's fine with me. And there's the KO. Perfect. I have to be really careful about the gacha lakas right there. Oh, Grafton is here. That is not quite good. Okay, we're gonna dunk pot her. There we go. Hopefully Grafton is gonna leave. Perfect. Could flash him out of the sky. But I would rather get a dunk on him. Okay. Wasn't the best idea to go backwards there. But that's fine. Now we have our Coalescent up. And we gotta get Coalescent again. Oh, I'm KO'd. That's not good. Maybe I should flash him out of the sky. But that still got me. Wow. I'm surprised. Or we can get a mount. I'll take that. I'll take the mount. 
could still flash him out of the sky now. I guess we're gonna just play it out. Play out the mount. I should be coming down now. There we go. Now we have to do an elemental discharge here. As mount finisher, but that's fine. I'm gonna go straight back into X mode. Get that part back multiplier off. One, two, three. Some damage on the leg, that might be quite nice. If I wanna get a leg topple, might as well try it. And ask and you shall receive. I'm gonna do a little bit of wild swinging here. And he's not enraged anymore, but he might be... Uh, oh no, never mind, he's gonna leave. Alright. Now we're gonna flash him out. There we go. We can do a wall bang, hopefully. Perfect. Now some more wild swinging. And he should be done. And big hit. Nah, not quite yet. Two, three, and boom, there it is. Perfect. That went quite well. Refian did interrupt, but that's not bad. That's definitely not bad. With the part deck multiply, you probably get a lot of flinches, a lot of claggers. So that's quite nice. Hello, Refian. Welcome back. All right, next up, we have a black Diablos. Not my favorite monster, but we will get him down. Her, I should say. Only question is, do we have a normal Diablos? It does not seem like it, so that's good news. That's really good, so we don't have to deal with the interruptions. There we go, we're gonna get our first wallbang in. And sadly, we cannot tenderize the wings, but we can tenderize the body so we're gonna go for that there we go and i do have a lot of skewer pots with me just in case there we go now i'm bugging a little bit on uh, leg topples as well that might be a good thing i'm bonking on the uh, horns sadly so i might need to tenderize the head that might be a good idea. One, two, ah, oh, sad. Time for me to equip my skimmer pots. Because she's probably gonna dig soon. Knowing Black Diablos, I thought so. There we go. Now we're just gonna do some good damage here. There we go. Nice hit on the legs. Might get a leg top or soonish. Not sure if the left and right leg share one threshold or not, but we will figure it out. There we go, and we're gonna go back into a wild swing. Am I too late? Yeah, I was too late, sadly. But that's okay, we got a clagger. Gonna take that. Tenderize the head, because I'm gonna go switch to Impact Mantle now. Now a good thing would be if she's gonna dig, so I can scream her out again. Or we're we gonna get the second horn break, that also works for me. Okay, we're gonna evade this. And now she's digging. There we go. Might even get a KO here. Not yet. There it is. There's the KO I wanted. Perfect. Gonna do a lot of damage here. And we're gonna get the uh, little flinch. If we are lucky, we can get a second KO. Okay, tail swing. See if we can get that leg topple, maybe. Ah, uh, enraged. Okay. Another clagger. Perfect. 
and do some more damage on the head. See uh, if the KO comes out. You're gonna dig now, or what you're gonna do? Okay, big dash. Fine with me. Tail swing. Weird decision. But I'll take it. There we go. And boom. There's the digging. Gonna get this. Hopefully second KO. That would be awesome. Oh, Impact Mantle ran out. So no KO for us. But that is fine. Another Screamer pot. There we go. And I'm too late again, sadly. She's digging a lot. Well, it's just not that bad for me. I have to do that way earlier now. Okay, we're gonna have to interrupt this. Get more Screamer pots. And she's going to leave. This one I cannot skim apart. Transitionings, you cannot. Oh, I got the tremor. Oopsie. Just gonna sharpen up. Sadly, we didn't get that second KO, but maybe with the thorn pots in hand and some slinger bursts on the head, we might be able to uh, get that. Oh, that didn't hit. Satch. That was sad. Oh, but this one should hit. There we go. Come on, give me the KO. Come on. There it is. Perfect. Perfect. The Thunder Rise ran out, but that's fine. Gonna get the Part Back Multiplier back up. Ah, I, I swung too much. Time to equip. The skewma pot's back. And tail, that's fine. Still waiting for the leg topple to happen. Okay, digging, nice. Get her out. One, two, three. And boom. Still no leg topple. Come on, it's gonna happen now. Or she's just gonna leave. That works as well. Gonna wait for her to sleep and then do some big damage. Probably on the wing. I think the wings are the best hit zone, untenderized. So we're gonna go for that. I just have to figure out a good positioning here. Maybe like this. Let's see. Two, three. Perfect. Sadly, no crit there. And she's exhausted. Okay. That's not bad. Which means that she's gonna take way longer to dig now. Got hit right there, but that's fine. Double head swing. Wait that out. That's a clagger. Uh, yeah, sure. We're gonna take the, the leg. Might as well. Oh, never mind. I guess that's that. Black Diablos has fallen and can't get up anymore. I have to say, I mean, I, I used a lot of skewer pots, given that. But the damage is pretty good. Even without sword mode, I feel way more mobile. I still have good damage. I get a lot of claggers and flinches. I really like that. You could nearly say, I dig that. Alright, and our last target is, as you can see right there, a Kushala. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of Kushala. But if we do it correctly, we might get a lot of head topples. And maybe even a little lock going on. That would be quite awesome. I'm just gonna go grab the stones right here. For the wall bang. Now, I don't know if I'm already too late, because he is quite big. But it looks like I'm just in time. Oh, that might not work. Oh, we got it. Nice. Perfection. Of course, we're gonna go with the thunder. 
switch axe right here. Now let's go get the buff. Even if I don't hit, I'm okay with that. Okay, now a second wall bang would be appreciated. Now I don't know if that's possible. Oh, it is. Perfection. So now I just have to really be careful to not go over the threshold. Okay. Okay, that didn't work. I didn't hit the head, sadly. Now, as long as he doesn't go flying, we should be fine. But he's running a lot. Could you stop? Could you stop running like this? There we go. Okay, that's one. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, a little bit too early on this, but maybe we can still get the uh, the head topple soon. No, I'm not hitting. Come on, let me hit. Let me hit, yeah. There it is. Perfect. Now again. One, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, I didn't get the finish off. Well, that's quite sad. I'm gonna go to Impact Mantle just in case. Would be really nice if you don't fly. Okay, that's a Clagger. I mean, sure. Gonna refresh the weak spot. Probably gonna take a little bit before I can kill him, so... Every little bit is nice. He went out of rage already. Which is not that good. Now my agitator is gone. And he's flying. Well, that's the worst thing. But he's landing already. And there's a topple that is not the KO. That's the KO. And his head is nah, not really in the ground. Problem is only he's probably gonna scream now. Oh no, not yet. Not screaming yet. What you gonna do here? Double bite. And boop. Alright. So far so good. Nah, no, it wasn't close enough. Okay, he does a lot of running right here. Which I don't know if I like that. I'll do a little bit of damage. Chip him down. Okay, that was a nice hit. Now I really just need that... That head threshold to... To click. Oh, we're gonna get another... Clagger. Gonna refresh that tenderized spot again. Now, question is if he's gonna scream now. He is. A double scream. Okay. And there's the head threshold. Now, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I was twelve. I didn't hit the big one. Maybe if I would have hit that, could have gotten another head threshold. And the, the topple, maybe. Okay, another flying. Might just flash him out. And now he's gonna spawn the tornadoes, and they go combine. That's not the best thing that could have happened. Or we can deal with it. Okay, still not. Another flying. Gonna flash him out now. He's out of the tornado there. Get that part back multiplier back up. And now, hopefully, I can hit the uh, head. Or we can get another clagger. That's also completely fine with me. He's out of the flash, so there's gonna be a little animation now. And boom, out of rage again. He did drop a pod, so might be able to... Let me... Can I please? Kushala, please? 
Thank you. There we go. Might be able to get that wall bang. Now I did get roared there. But now that should be... Should work, please. Perfect. Now hopefully... When he stands up, we can get something off. Oh, no pot break. Ouch. Not really a fun of you, Kushala. Oh, he still got me with that pause swipe. And flying again. Okay. I could flash him again, but he's not gonna topple down. So I might just, well, oh, you know what. Why not? Well, wow. that didn't really work, did it? Are you still flying? And he's doing his hind leg attack. A lot. Oh no, the... The wings are too hard for my weapon. Okay. Oh, that's a raid scream. Now what? Okay, big one. We're gonna get the other pots right here. Now we did come down now. There's that topple. That's a really bad positioning for me because ah, I'm gonna bonk a lot. Come on. One of them will hit. One of them will hit. Come on. There we go. Flying again. Maybe some dragon pots can help. Get that Elder Seal proc, maybe. Or we're we just gonna wait for him to land. That's also a possibility, an option. There we go, a little bit of damage. Oh, wow, that's a big ass tornado. Okay, that's the Elder Seal proc. So, no more wind shenanigans from you. Counter bite. And he's back into wind mode. Not the best. Oh, come on. Oh, nice. Perfect. Now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, we did get it. But sadly, no topple. Okay, he's gonna go asleep. Could go sharpen up. Now the only problem is Kushala sleeps on that weird little island where I'm very limited in space. So I might not be able to get a good wake up hit. Question is how do we get that? Do, can we get the wake up hit from below maybe? So if he lands up there and I stay below, maybe with the heavy slam I can reach up. That would be quite nice. He's sleeping already. Oh yes, cool. Maybe I have enough range to do that. You know what, let's try. Let's try. Maybe that is something. Ah, no I don't. I do not, do I? Ah, it's so close. We can do this. I mean, that works. I'm gonna take that, jump off, and now back to the swinging. I should have maybe tenderized. Okay. Ah, well, too early. Should have waited less, just a tiny bit. And now, tornado on the island. Not great. Nice. Good head topple. Now what, Kushala? There we go. Perfect. That was quite chill. He didn't fly as much as I expected him to, to fly. But he did went out of out of rage quite often. So I could have done more wall bangs. But overall I think that wasn't bad. If I got the thresholds a little bit better, could have maybe locked him down easier. But I'm happy with that. And that's it. Those were all the hunts I have for you today. 
I hope you had fun watching and you saw something interesting. If you have any suggestion what build I can use in a future video, let me know in the description down below. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And with that said, thank you guys for watching and have a good one.